Hi guys, welcome back to the channel today. I'm going to do another um, layer of uh, painting um, on the Calypso, my stunning seascape, which is back here. Working on her, but I'm going to do another card and see where the energy is taking me today with this picture. Let's see what's coming on. <clears throat> this creates another dimension of energy because so many people, you know, we just paint instead of giving some value to um, how the energy of the painting is. If we're in a bad mood or if we're in a good mood. And sometimes I like to do card reading beforehand and see what the energy of the painting is saying it needs today. So let's see what Calypso needs to create another depth and dimension. Strength. So the picture is of strength. Very strong picture of It's actually a um, earth goddess, fairy, holding up the planet, actually. And she's kind of multitasking here, trying to do the earth, hold the earth, while she's trying to do her own little dance. with The tree at the top of the earth, and it says strength. There probably is a little bit more to it. Sometimes I like to go to the book and see what else the message is. Number 44, which is angels. The 4-4 four, four number is the League of Angels are talking. And uh, with all the healing work that I do, working with the angels, helping our clients out all those years, 44 used to come up quite a bit when you were kind of like in a place of balance. So true strength comes from self-reliance. Um, oh, not from self-reliance, but sincere faith of the higher power. The strength to accomplish even the most daunting task in this time. You can connect with your channel of power through the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested. Oh, that's definitely sure. I've been getting tested a lot lately on just where to go if I want to do you know, videos that are doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm being tested to refine my relationships of being deepening. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off of your course of evolution. Because I've been wondering if I should, you know, go back to doing the, um, the epoxy art that I was doing a few years ago. Or if I should continue on my traditional painting um, trajectory that I've been on for the last four years and I did a lot of um, really beautiful um, artwork but maybe I can make a class or something in that so have the courage to dive in for magic is in the process of finding the form to take and we remember that your real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance to the higher power working through you and all is possible and you can do anything now so that's the energy of the, the strength card, kind of balancing too many things. I'm going to do a, another layer up top here where the clouds and stuff are. going to get a bigger brush for the Calypso, the goddess of the ocean.
This is a glazing technique that I learned. Give some highlight. I was looking for my gal code, but it's way the hell over there. <clears throat> Something nice about a table that has rollers. Get it to your art supplies. It's been cold this winter, so a lot of my supplies have a weird layer of protection for it being so cold this year. You know, some like link weight that'll do some drying. Also, I just want to get this layer on that I wanted to dry.
to did a glaze a few weeks back to darken up the cloud area. Now I'm kind of glazing in this area. Glazing the sun. do about four layers ish depending on what I've been doing Well, the energies of Calypso um, came to me right after I did the Jaguar series with the girls. Worked on her hair a little earlier. No. Been really challenged a lot lately on just where to go and how what to do. I know that we all probably go through that when we're been on a process of path trying to figure out what our voice is and what we love to do while we're painting. As I was talking to a few of my friends about it, where to go. I've been and going to a lot of um, art sites and stuff. I keep getting invited, but I'm finding that just um, you get invited to a lot of stuff, but it doesn't mean that, you know, you pay your 45 bucks or on one booth I paid three grand and stuff. I was in London. I was in Canada. Been in quite a few different places that have invited me to show, put my exhibit in, been chosen for this and that, but I'm finding that, you know, if they get, you know, even a hundred people at 45 bucks, but more than likely, they're getting three or four hundred people.
Sometimes the more layers of glaze you do, it creates a kind of a stained glass look. Okay. With all the eclipses and everything, my ancestors have been talking with me quite a bit. I don't know, maybe they've been all been talking with me too. We come from a really long line of of um, seamstresses and stuff. Are you know their own type of art back in the day. My uncle has come to me quite a few times recently, which kind of surprised me. I haven't seen him in a while. So when you do these layers and stuff, it takes a little bit longer for the painting to kind of come around. But the, it's so much worth it because it creates a depth that you don't see otherwise. <clears throat> On the strength card today, I just kind of think it was interesting gaining strength in the painting too, right? Covering new strengths and things, new depths of painting and stuff. So just wanted to say thank you for stopping and um, taking a, you know, um, a look at the dynamic work. Whether you are a beginner or experienced artist, you probably know some of the tips and tricks already i'm um, looking to figure out if i want to go deeper into something like this that helps you guys my cat's crying outside mr gray won't let me show you guys he's really cute uh, he likes to get into things so i'm going to grab him real quick This is Nanook. It was not Wolfie. And so he likes to get a hold of his cute little patooties in my paint. He's done it before. But I figured you guys enjoy 
I'm an animal person. You guys are probably too. He's a very sweet, sweet animal. Takes care of his brother. Well, that was a nice, you know, and it's send off for the day. So, um, this transformation of the painting takes a little time when you're working, when you're trying to get clouds and depth and with the waves and stuff. So I'm going to do another layer down at the bottom here so that I can create some uh, brighter um, blue waves and stuff in the background. But thank you again for stopping in. I'm really just trying to figure out where to go with this channel with you guys. And um, But if you have liked some of the com the commentary that I've been doing, um, some of the artwork that I've been doing, you know, definitely hit the subscribe and like and all of that. And I know the channel will go somewhere. I just don't know fully where it's going to go. But I'm going to continue putting that content up because... I want to do it for myself and for you guys and figure out what would be really good to continue working forward and, um, you know, taking a, a leap of faith that this is going to go somewhere in a positive way. So, all right, guys, thank you for coming in and taking a look. Another layer on the Calypso painting, the ocean scene. I'm just putting in some of the clouds and stuff and kind of doing some layering so it gives some depth of the clouds kind of coming around the mountain and then onto Calypso there along with the other stuff. So see you tomorrow for the next layer on Calypso. Have a great afternoon. Again, if you want to see or buy anything, Lisa Marie at Lisa Marie Pro Artist. I also have a Telegram and I do have Patreon. I'm trying to figure out how to get everything loaded up there so that I can do stuff. So you can actually take a look, and then if you want to hop onto the website, Lisa Marie Pro Artist, it's pretty easy. All right, guys, have a fantastic evening, and remember to send this off to people that you know that would like to do art and or get some tips and tricks on different types of layering as I work with Calypso. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye.